Good evening. I am Deepak Kumar, Director in Dietetics Data of ASC Group. Today we are discussing uh, about the recommendations made in GST Council meet yesterday, that is 20th September 2019. In this uh, uh, meet, many recommendation is to be made by our Finance Minister. Uh, first of all, uh, the recommendation is related to the annual return. It's a very good relief for the small taxpayer. For a small taxpayer, uh, the recommendation is the taxpayer whose annual turnover for the financial year 2017-18, 2018-19, if it is less than two, uh, 2 crores, then the annual return, that is GSTR 9, they are not required to file if they wish. It is optional for them. Also, one more recommendation in the annual return for the composition dealer. The dealer who opt composition scheme, they are also waived for filing GSTR 9A. So it's a very good relief for the small taxpayer. There is a, so many uh, voice is raising by them okay, there is a lot of confusion so a lot of complexity in the GSTR return so it's a very good decisions made in the, our last GST council meet to waive off GSTR 9A and GSTR 9 make optional the second recommendations in the GST related to the refund and in pan India the taxpayer is facing lot of difficulties for claiming refunds since every state they are opting for their own rules for issuing the refunds so they directing in this meeting to make it simpler and uniform pan india for claiming the refunds so in future from very recently we will getting many notification many circular for claiming the refund so that it can become easy way for the taxpayer to claiming that refunds. Third recommendations made related to the new GSTR return, it is uh, announced in our few last GSTR council meet, related to the new GSTR return will be applicable from 1st of October 2019, the form is called Sahaj and Saral. This date of uh, implementations from 1st October is recommended to postpone and now it will be from 1st April 2020. So for taxpayer, it is also good to make comfort during these ahead periods, which extended from 1st of October 2019 to 1st of April 2020 to up, uh, opt for that scheme, new tax, uh, new tax returns schemes. Uh, one more recommendations is related to the appeals. Uh, the taxpayer who are going to file their appealant terminal, they extend the date since the appealant committee of at the terminal level is uh, presently not functional. So they extend it with the date of filing appeals also. Few changes is also made in the GSTR rates for job worker. They announced to reduce the rate from 18% to the 12%, it's a very good for the manufacturer also. And uh, if we can talk, uh, so you can say okay, for the industry point of view, of course, if job worker tax rate is reduced, then might be goods goes down by their prices. Also in the hospitality, in the hotel business, their huge tax rate is to be limited. Now they decided for the room tariff more than 7500 per day the gst rate is to be goes down 18 percent if it is less than 7500 but more than 1000 rupees then the gst rate will be 12 percent and for low 1000 rupees it will be become now zero so it is also good for the hotel industries also the gst raises goes down so it, there will be more business for the hotel industries as well one notification recently coming in the month of June, dated 28th, the notifications, the circular name is 105. It's related to the post sale discount 
which come out with the to make the uniformity in the post sale discounts now that circular is now become wide since it's not making uniformity but it's create the confusion so the government decide to wide that circular so now the post sale discount is as prescribed in the gst law earlier that will same will be applicable now thank you everyone who are watching this video if you have still any query our gst team will serve you dedicatedly please share like and subscribe our ac group channel for any tax or business related matter thank you